Hi, my name is Sarah from Addictive Math Inc. And today we're going to be working an exponential growth problem. Um, and so, the problem says that a sample of bacteria in a petri dish is reproducing rapidly so that the number of colonies in the dish increases by 40% each day. There are initially 50 colonies in the dish. Write a function f of x to represent the number of colonies on any given day x. So, it's important to note that this is a question about population growth. Whenever we're talking about population, there are typically two ways that we can represent it. So in our earlier high school math courses, we can represent this exponentially. So we might represent population growth looking something like this. Or if we have a population that's dying off, we might have something like this. The thing is that populations grow exponentially. They don't grow in a linear manner. Um, so for example, if you have a population of rabbits, you might have one rabbit that has two babies, but then each of those two babies have two babies. And so it grows rapidly. It doesn't grow in a linear manner. You don't add one rabbit per day. Um, in some of the upper level math courses, we don't represent the growth and decay of populations using the exponential curve. Instead, we represent them using a logistic curve. So it grows exponentially, but then it also tapers off at some point um, because populations have a carrying capacity. They don't grow forever. Um, however, in this case, we are going to be using the exponential function to describe this growth, and I'll show you why. So a sample of bacteria is reproducing rapidly so that the number of colonies in the dish increases by 40%. So our rate of increase is 40%. So this tells us that our population is growing and not decaying. There are initially 50 colonies in the dish. So our initial value is 50. And they want us to write a function f of x to represent the number of colonies on any given day x. So our time in days is represented using the variable x. So the way that we're going to represent this as a function is we're going to write out our f of x is the initial value times 1.40, and I'll explain that in a moment, to the x power. Now, the reason that we're using 1.4 and not just 0.4 is because of how we portray growth and decay with exponential functions. So whenever you have an exponential function, this thing in here is the rate. Now, if it is a growth function, if we have a function that's growing, then we would describe the rate as being 1 plus the rate of increase. So in our case, it's growing by 40%. So we do one plus 40%, and that gives us our rate, 1.40 or just 1.4. If something is decaying, then we do one minus the rate of decay. So if we were to say that we had a population of bacteria that was dying off, then we would say, 1 minus 40 percent and so we would actually do 0 0.6 to the x power. Now the reason that we use this convention involving 1 is because of how exponential functions work. Recall that our exponential function is our rate 1.4 to the x power with our initial value out here. When we take a number that is greater than 1 and multiply it by itself x times, our function is growing. For example, consider the number 2. If we take 2 and we multiply it by itself repeatedly, we get 4 and then we get 8, and so we are growing. If we have a number that's less than 1, for example, 1 half, and we continually multiply it by itself x times, because that's what our exponent represents, then we end up shrinking. One half times one half is one fourth, so we're getting smaller. And so that's what this one does. So to recap, 
in this case, they asked us to write a function, and we wrote out an exponential function because that is how we represent population. And our function f of x is equal to 50, our initial value, times the rate to the x power. And that is our function for this problem.